Oh, he's smoothing. Oh, I love this. Let's go. I can't wait to see the MK Leomarth. Nice, nice. Kill so early. 39%? So good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh, I really like that. That's that's sneaky. Did it again! Oh my What is up everybody? Give me the video game scientist from BG Bootcamp here and I've got a new video. I'm reacting to more Twitter clips and stuff with the slingshot that people have come up with. A couple other videos coming out soon too, including me reacting to like what the top players think. I'm gonna try to get some applications in actual matches, as well as some more technical videos um, following up on the slingshot. Don't know if you guys saw before, but I recently announced the Invitational, an in-person Invitational happening June 16th through 19th. The opt-in phase starts on Wednesday. Basically, uh, if you meet the qualifications, you can opt in. So then the next phase, the Twitter phase, you'll be able to actually compete to get into the voting phase. I'm really excited about it. a lot of cool stuff there. So uh, I'm gonna be linking the trailer to that just so you can check it out. It has all the info there. Oh yeah, apologies in advance. There's some concert happening outside of my apartment. So that audio is going to leak in. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, so this first clip's from my brother, Apostle. He has uh, a little compilation of stuff he's recently come up with. Up there. Okay, uh, watch how he gets this grab. He goes, he forward tilts, he whiffs, he reacts to the situation. Bam. It does uh, the slingshot pivot grab. Nice, nice. Ooh, he's smoothing. All right, nice. Slick shot. These videos don't have audio, by the way. Nice. It's not easy to do. It is not easy to uh, whiff punish Wario back, well, jumping back when he's coming at you because uh, he has really good drift. So that was really good bait. Oh, I love this. Let me look at that again. Nice cross up. Wow. So the little mat comes down on top of him and then rolls. Uh, Apostle releases his shield and does a uh, flick shot backwards. Empty land, and he goes so far back, he gets behind Little Mac, and Little Mac's buffering down tilt, kind of spamming it. This is kind of what I was talking about, where it's really good for dealing with mashing. But that forward roll down tilt wasn't a bad option from Little Mac. He was, like, not expecting Apostle to fly back so far. Into the down tilt. Nice. This next clip is actually something Apostle already showed me before. <sighs> so smooth. Let's watch that again. I'm going to stop it. So he does... Um, flick shot delayed back air to make it um, to get his max distance to start it later so he can land lower to the ground and make it safer and also hitbox in a better spot. He forward tilts because that's safe and then he does a hold shot, either hold shot or full shot, back into Sephiroth with like forward air and it shield stabs. Now Sephiroth was holding shield for quite a bit so it shrunk a little bit but it's not it's not out of the question that that would have shield poke anyways because uh, shield pokes are really strong in this game. All right, now we're gonna watch uh, one more Apostle clip. So this is actually one that he came up with like months ago and he's been waiting to share it on Twitter. So basically what he did there was uh, he did a slingshot nair. He could have done it lower, lower to make it safer. And then he does a slingshot reverse full hop to get his tail out of the way to avoid out of shield options. And then does a, not B reverse, what is it called? Um, wave bounce neutral B, which is really good. It's really good. It's Pretty cool to see Charizard moving like that. Nice, nice reversal. Yep, okay, I've seen this clip. Let's go, I can't wait to see the MK Leo Marth. Nice, nice. All right, so what Tilde did there, watch. So he goes into the dash kid, right? Right there, dash kid. Now that kind of like slows you down, so if you try to short hop backwards, you don't go as far. He does a slingshot downer, right? Now, I could be wrong here, but if he just did a dash back downer, I think the pit would have gone to the center of the stage and not to the right, like, till they wanted. Plus, you know, it's, you know, this versus that, so it's not exactly the same. And then, slingshot, right? Yep, slingshot full out back air, which is a little bit easier than the normal instant RAR. Bam, it kills so early. All right, it's pretty cool. Wait, what percent was Palutena at? Whoa, wait, wait, 39%? So, full hop, slingshot, I don't know if it's a flick shot or not. Into up air, can they DI out of this? 
I don't know, and drag them out at like 10%? Alright, well don't do regular get up at the ledge versus Pikachu now. Uh, Pichu. Alright, I've seen this. So Solo Jones is just uh, them practicing the, uh, just, you know, being able to space their nair a little bit better in neutral. <sighs> That's so good! Imagine Leo just getting up all in your face? And then he fares and you up, you out a shield, and you just get destroyed with a tip or F smash, 30%. Damn. Yeah, I saw this one before. So apparently it covers all options um, at the ledge, but I just don't understand how that works. I don't know how they did it. I don't, I don't even understand. But somehow they did it. Nana has something similar like this in Melee. Nana Pult. So it's pretty cool. And I don't know if I just said this, but apparently it covers all options except stay on ledge, but I'm sure there's some characters that still hits. Oh, I think I already reacted to this one already, but oh my goodness. I wasn't sure when I made the video, the first one, if Needle and the Down B would combo. Oh. oh my goodness. It's so good. So this is one, bam. So I saw a little talk on this on Twitter. So basically Greninja has such a high short hop that they could have just come back down with the forward air. But um, the problem with that is that, you know, corn up smash or up air or whatever it would hit them. If they spot dodged, you know, the follow up fair wouldn't be spaced really well like it was there. But with, with the slingshot fair, it makes it harder to get hit out of shield. Corn's fair would probably still hit it, but that's not the point. Um, a B would probably whiff. Up smash would whiff. Spot dodge, cancel, attack. Greninja might be able to punish. And then if they, you know, spot dodge shield or something like that, Greninja is spacing the forward air. So it's really strong. And that wasn't even like the most space it could have been. It could have spaced the fair a little bit better. All right, yeah, I've seen this. Spargo just going ham with it after three seconds. It's the top player effect. All right, I've been waiting for this one. Tiff defers one week later. Ooh, an actual match. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that's really good because even though it's like not a good, um, even though it's not a real combo, right? And they, you know, they did up air. Even though it's not a real combo, um, I don't know if that was that might have been a real combo, but the forward smash after isn't. Uh, like the light hit of Roy's up air is so quick that it could be hard to react to that happening. You kind of got to predict it. Doing the forward smash after, like it could be hard. You just be like, whoa, I didn't even expect that to happen. Okay, did a slingshot in the corner to kind of get some better space. Took his jump and there's a spike. So basically, yeah, they're in the corner. They're kind of like messing with the Donkey Kong. And then they do the slingshot really fast to kind of like mess with the Donkey Kong space and space their fair a little bit better. Could have been spaced a little better, but still it's pretty cool. Ooh. I miss what just happened. Oh, yes, yes. I've been waiting for someone to post a clip like this. So basically, Captain Falcon's here, right? The Meta Knight feels confident. Like, oh, I can like come in and space in this area. Captain Falcon does a either a hold shot or a full shot to come back on top of the Meta Knight, make the aerial whiff, because the Meta Knight got confident, and hit that Nair 1, which is really hard to hit normally in neutral, into the knee. Boom. Ooh. -hoo. Wow, this Alpha King is like really using it already. Okay, so I can't really go through the whole clip. They did it a couple times, but you can tell that they're like in the process of trying to like figure out how to implement it in their place. So they're just doing it a lot. It's cool because like they're kind of like zigzagging around. I like it. I want to see that again. He does it at the beginning just for fun. Ooh, I love it. It was like dash, dash, dash into the reverse. Ooh, and that was just like, I don't even know if that was a slingshot. Oh my God, it was. And look, they made, it made the forward tilt whiff. 
And then he, he was able to come right back down on the back. Or this... This part is so good at it already. That's so cool. Let's go, Alpha Kong. Ooh. <gasps> oh my god. Alright. Combo Nair did the reverse to slingshot and to get a reverse footstool. And I think the reason they did that is because the down air sends a certain way when they do footstool down air. I could be wrong, but I think that's why. So there's actually a reason to do that. Don't let Greninja take you to FD. The combos. Oh, I really like that. That's that's sneaky. They do a flick shot, short hop, double up air, and then they cape at the end to like say, hey, you're mashing. You're mashing the wrong direction. I like that. The only question is, like, is there a reason to do slingshot? Let's see. Because it hit the same frame as it would have before. No, actually, so it hits like three frames later, which means the combo is now uh, has three more frames to connect to the up air, the next up air. So let's see. Let's see the other up air. So it looks like the Donkey Kong actually air dodged there because he was able to move two frames before he hit the ground. So the first up air was, there was a reason for it. It did give plus three more frames of hits done, making the DK closer to the ground. But still, I don't really know if it was necessary. Hey all, future Gimmer here. I just realized that Dr. Mario might have been going for a weak up air. But Dr. Mario has really weird properties, so I can't remember if he even has a weak up air. The whole thing might just have the same amount of knockback. To do a slingshot, but I mean, if they back air it after that, no other way to do that. This one's so good. Ugh. I don't know if it works on certain DI, but being able to like really easily do a full hop, you know, full drift in air, it's really hard. Can you DI out? That's such an early kill. Ooh, I like that a lot. They hit him. Damn, they just dropped shield and did it. Right? They just, they they blocked the wolf fair. Then they did a flick shot fair backwards. They just said, I'm just doing it out of shield. I like that a lot. All right, future gimme here again. I just realized that Cloud probably could have just grabbed wolf here and uh we're upbeat and didn't need to go for a slingshot but it's pretty clear this cloud is like starting to practice it and putting it in their game and usually when you're practicing something new you you do it as much as you can to try to get it in your muscle memory so it's understandable but yeah could have grabbed could upbeat wolf jab would have caught it but still they jump back they fare and then they barely got out of range because the wolf did a dash forward instant nair they barely got out of, out of the range and they were able to combo um the whip punish it with a fair it's really good Oh, I love seeing people try to like implement something new. Oh, and they did it again. They did it again. That's so good. That's so annoying. Oh, I think they might have done it again, but that might have been a normal rare. Okay. The rest of the clip was all right. Okay. So that was some pretty cool stuff. All right, well, that's my uh, second slingshot reaction clip. Excited to uh, see some more compilations as players start to put it in the game. As you can see, players are already trying to implement it. That Donkey Kong player was really freaking cool. But yeah, it's not too hard to implement. You, you're gonna start seeing the uses of shifting your space and be able to come back on top of people while like shifting your hurtbox and also like interesting shield pressure, those combos. It's pretty uh, cool stuff to do with uh, lead trapping. So. Excited to see more clips. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'm gonna try to put out some more stuff. It's back to the lab with me. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, back to the lab again. Oh no, back to the lab again. We messed up.